Hello friends, today I'm going to present a problem from physics. Well, let's read the problem. A jet moves along an experimental track, which is the x-axis. Its position as a function of time is given by the equation x equals 2 times t squared plus 3. Determine the displacement of the jet during the interval from t1 3 seconds to t2 5 seconds. Determine the average velocity during this time interval and determine the magnitude of the instantaneous velocity at t equals 5 seconds. Okay, let's solve the problem. First of all, I'm going to sketch the graph of this function. This is easy. Well, this is the graph of the function. This is x and this is t. Okay, so in this equation I substitute 0, 1, 2, 3 here, t, and I get the x values. And this is, as you can see, is a parabola. Okay, let's go to the first question of the problem. Well, first I sketch a table here and the two t, 3 and 5 uh, and then I substitute t equals 3 and t equals 5 in uh, this equation and I get the values of x first of all I substitute t equals 3 that means that x equals 2 times 3 squared plus 3 which is 18 plus 3 gives 21 and then I substitute t equals 5. x equals 2 times 5 squared plus 3, which is 53. So I write down this here uh, in the table. So at the point t equals 3, we get x equals 21. And at t equals 5, we get x equals 53 okay now let's go to find the displacement the displacement is delta x which is x equals 53 minus 21 which gives 32 meters then we must calculate the average velocity the average velocity is delta x which is this is the average velocity, 32, and delta t equals 5 minus 3, delta t equals 5 minus 3, which gives 2 seconds. So, 2 seconds here, meters per second. So, we get average velocity, 32 over 2, which is 16 meters per second. So, as, you, as we can see, on this graph uh, this 16 equals uh, the slope of the straight lines between these two points 3 21 and 5 53 this is the slope of this straight line and let's get let's go to the last question which is uh, which is we have to find the instantaneous velocity of the jet this is given by the first derivative of the function x with independent variable t at the point t equals 5 okay this is 4 times t this is the first derivative at the point t equals 5 which is 4 times 5 and we get 20 meter per 20 meters per second so we get the instantaneous velocity at t equals 5 seconds thank you for watching this video